Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the official look at what arrived today. The latest build of Windows 10, build 15042. And it was released today, February the 24th, on a rare Friday release. And um, it's a very interesting build for several reasons. There are a few things we will talk about. So the install itself went very well. It downloaded and installed flawlessly. Um, it's been a long time since I really had like, you know, two computers updating with no issues at all. Uh, it really felt good because it doesn't happen very often uh, lately, but now it did. So uh, I guess uh, more and more they're fixing all the problems. And uh, one of the first things that you notice once you are in the build is there's no watermark. So at the moment I was like, uh, could this be creator's update? Well, it feels like it, but it's not quite there. So I can't really take this build and say, hey, here's a creator's update review, because I think we're not exactly there yet. So what's happening with this build? Okay, first of all, what's new? Because a lot of you want to know what's new. Okay, I'm gonna give you the straight dope, very little and I'm going to tell you exactly what's new immediately right now. And of course, we'll be taking a look more precisely on the Insiders channel um, at to, you know, at, 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 of all the little features in here. Okay, first of all, when you install from scratch from a image file, there's new animations of what they call the out-of-box experience. I mean, when you install Windows 10, little animations that go with the Cortana persona so that uh, you install Windows and she's actually going through with you on the steps of what you need to do on um, you know installing Windows. Of course a very in easy install of Windows I think you know they're doing a great job at this it's one of the easiest way to install Windows ever and some of you have asked me to uh, do a video about that and I will do a video about the Windows 10 install experience when we officially get the creator's update. Why? Because I think that's pretty much where a lot of people will be eventually. So I'd rather have that done when creator's update's here than with the older versions of Windows. So check that out. As soon as creator's update's available, I will show you how to install Windows. I'll do some videos that will show you how to do a clean install, how it works. And so you'll be able to do it yourself and it's much easier than you might think. Uh, what else is new? Uh, there's a prompt in Microsoft Edge. So if you go into a website, so I'm going to click new one because I believe they do have such um, stuff there. If you have in a page some content that is flash, you will have on the taskbar at the upper right, and here it is, something missing on the page. Look at that, there's a little puzzle piece and that's flash. So it says to help you stay safe, we've blocked Adobe Flash. Click here to turn it on. So there's an indication that there's Flash that's been blocked. And uh, it's probably somewhere on the page. There must be something. Here we go. Adobe Flash is missing to have this ad here, for example. So um, of course, now it's really easy to understand. On the last build, you had the little puzzle piece. You didn't have the pop-up that said, hey, we blocked some Flash content. And finally, some um, new things with the EPUB. Look at the icon. This is a book. This is an ebook that I have here. So they've changed the icon now to, uh, of course, it has the Microsoft Edge icon because Edge is the default EPUB reader. And of course, you can change that. You know, you can in install the, the Kindle app or, or anything else and, ch and pl you know, read your books with something else. But if you don't have anything installed, it's Edge. So it now looks like a book. With a little bookmark on the bottom and it of course opens up in edge automatically when you click an epub which is the electronic format of books once you do that of course you read through the uh, edge browser i found that it was a little long sometimes to open up some books uh, compared to many other readers that i've seen but you know at least it reads the books and of course uh, you get all the options available in the epub reading um, they have done one thing, so at the bottom here you can see, uh, so you see, here you see the book, 
here you can see that you can you know change the page at the bottom and there's of course the chapters on the left side it looks nice kind of uh, well done here um, bookmarks if you want to bookmark a page where you are at search into the book itself uh, fun size of course here so you can actually choose what size uh, you want to have and what font you want to use uh, another thing that's also uh, here is the reading. They've uh, made the reading a little better. So when you click, it's reading. But when you click a different page, it actually jumps to the reading of the book on the uh, the page that you've gone to, which was not the case last time. So uh, that's all the new little thing. So not a lot. And I was not expecting a lot of changes in this build. It's a very stable build from what I'm actually using on two PCs, both the Windows 10 Home and the Windows 10 Pro versions have not crashed, have not had any issues. I had a few things and one particularly that was a little annoying on uh, last build was that on Edge YouTube videos when I would go full screen would display a gray uh, full screen. So I could not see the videos. Now I've tested it with this new build uh, and it seems to work well now. So I probably they fixed that as it does seem to have worked well. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, of course, nothing much. There is a feel and really a look like the creator's update. One of the things that is interesting in this is the, the lack of watermark, first of all. So, of course, I told you, no more watermark. A lot of people are asking me every time, what's a watermark exactly? Okay, watermark is that at the bottom right, if you had the Insider Previews, if you had the latest build, uh, like last build, you had the inscription of Windows Insider Preview, what version it was, the date release, and everything. Now, this removes all of that, which tends to th let me think that we are in Creator's Update, with a few things missing. Now, why I'm not saying this is officially the creator's update is because there's still a lot of bugs in here that they know about. So there are known issues in here. Uh, there's a few things that you might actually have. So uh, for example, uh, pressing F12 to get the tools from Microsoft Edge will sometimes crash or hang. Uh, the icon for the Windows Insider program under settings update security shown as a square still. Uh, a Windows Hello Face authentication might not authentication would not work. Uh, showing camera could not turn on error uh, on some devices, including the Surface Pro 4, and some gaming issues. Uh, if you click a game and it actually will revert down to an icon in the uh, or minimize in the taskbar, simply click on it and it's going to come back full screen. So there's a few things here that are um, you know creating problems also the broadcast options when you want to broadcast uh, yourself from game bar uh, will flash green when you're broadcasting now it doesn't change the quality of the broadcast but you know it, it shows that there's a little something there and some of you are not uh, possibly not able to go to this build there is a fix that was actually given so what Microsoft says is that if you upgrade to this build, it might fail on a small percentage of people because of a corrupt registry key. And they have the uh, information on how to fix it. I'll post that information on the Insider channel. So if you're not on that channel, go and check it out because that's where the information will be on how to fix that. Uh, it's pretty much the only issue that we see about that. Now, when I saw that there was no um, watermark on the bottom right I thought to myself that's it creators update we're getting creators update still what's also not showing that is creators update is when you look at the Windows version well we're stuck at version 1607 this is anniversary update still in the version so uh, they didn't update that and I was trying to think because I do believe that when we got anniversary update they had sent us a build and the build was simply updated with a cumulative update and all became clear. So what we should see here with creative update is version 1703 uh, because it will mean March of 2017, which was the original release month of creators update. 
that makes me think that we might not have another build until creators update but a cumulative update that will fix what's left of the problems and at the same time change this little panel here um, for sure so you know uh, nothing much new but it is and feels creators update uh, it's you know I, I, I would probably you know possibly uh, it, it would be um, something that I could do take this and say hey here's what creators update is looking like and I would uh, probably have 99% of everything still the same and intact when it happens but I'm not yet ready to do that commitment here but uh, I would I wouldn't be surprised in the next the next week or two I will probably be uh, pretty much saying okay here goes this is creators update this is what it looks like because it's just so close and of course when I do that we will compare creators update with anniversary update what's changed I uh, have some a uh, few people that told me how oh, there's nothing really changed there's actually a lot of things have changed it's just that you have to go through the system and go through the the different settings and all the options and everything that's been added there is yes a lot of new stuff and the creators update compared to the anniversary update it's just that it's not all visible stuff when you look at the desktop for example so um, seems to be a very solid build and no blue screens no problems yet if uh, something pops up or something happens on the weekend of course I'll be updating my video with some new information uh, if you want to see more and see more information about what's happening with this build and what's uh, you know all the, the changes go to my insider channel that one will have many many more videos and more in depth look at the insider previews because it's made for that and uh, I would guess that soon we'll have the official review of creators update but we're pretty much there I think and it's nice to see that uh, watermark gone uh, and you know kind of exciting times seeing that we are pretty much in the creators update now and uh, already time flies already a new version of Windows which basically will be what the third version of Windows since its release will have what the release we had the release we had a November update we had the anniversary update and now uh, we are at creators update so that's four versions of Windows 10 basically from the first official release until now um, it, time really goes fast so uh, hope you enjoyed this quick look at uh, build 15042 and uh, pretty much you know we can almost exchange that for creators update so uh, also one last thing that I uh, it was interesting in my install uh, I have of course this one is the Windows 10 Insider Pro version the other one I have is the home version the home version didn't do it but my pro version did pop up Microsoft Edge with welcome to creators update and if you look at my previous video previous video talking about how it feels uh, it, it you can see that page which is kind of interesting but a lot of you said hey I don't have that page well yeah I don't I didn't have it on the other one and uh, it doesn't seem that everybody has the page pop up so I don't know why um, interesting to, to, to note that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and uh, let's uh, cross our fingers. I might be uh, doing a review of the Creators Update pretty soon, I think.